Next one. Second Samuel 22, verse 2. Mm -hmm. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. Mm -hmm. You have to know as a child of God that God is your deliverer. God is your deliverer. God is able to deliver you from spirit husband, spirit wife, strong man, strong woman, ancestral powers, spiritual weak. God is able to deliver you. Please, there is absolutely nothing that God cannot deliver you from. You have to know and you have to know it without a doubt that God is is my deliverer god is able to deliver you god is able to deliver you and the reason why i'm saying this over and over and over because some people think that because they are being so attacked that they think that god cannot deliver them mm -hmm. and sometimes they will test us and say oh i want to give up because i've been praying no god is a deliverer and you have to know that see sometimes right when God wants to deliver you, or sometimes when the devil knows that God is about to deliver you, the devil wants to intimidate you, so they will send back, back, back lashes, lashes, or they will try to intimidate you. Do not let the devil intimidate you. Stand on your ground Amen. like Moses, because mm -hmm. Reverend K gave an example that when God told Moses to go to the Egypt, um, Pharaoh to bring the children of Israel out, mm -hmm. what Pharaoh did was that pharaoh wanted to make their labor very difficult. hard difficult for them so that moses would give up but moses did not give up he started god started using moses to bring plague upon plague upon plague upon plague the until pressure. until pharaoh gave up i want you to know that if you will not give up but with consistency with prayer you will overcome and god will deliver you from that spirit husband god will deliver you from that spirit wife god will deliver you that strong man in your foundation that is holding you captive god will deliver you there is absolutely nothing that god cannot do from sickness from death everything every attack. god is able to deliver you you see when you read second psalm 22 verse 18 david was saying this because remember david was an anointed as king mm -hmm. when he was very young but, but david has to go through so many attacks to a point that in in the point of his life he was living in a cave mm -hmm. but then david wrote this and i want you to know that david wrote this because um saul was persecuting david was always after him wanted to kill him mm. but then david knew that god is able to deliver evil pursuers evil pursuer one person three hundred three thousand soldiers were after one person and yes they couldn't overcome david so what makes you think that god will give you up to your enemy no. and god cannot deliver you god can deliver you and i want you today to say you with confidence my god is my deliverer my god, god is, is my, my deliverer. deliverer my god is my deliverer my he is god able is my to deliver me He's he able is able to deliver, to deliver me, me. In Jesus when you name. read second samuel 22 verse 18 this is what david said he delivered me from my strong enemy mm. tonight i'm telling you Amen. god will deliver Amen. you from that strong enemy Amen. god will deliver you Amen. from that strong spirit husband Amen. god will deliver you from that strong spirit wife Amen. god will deliver you it Amen. doesn't matter Amen. powers from your father's house from your mother's house that that you think that they are strong, God Amen. is able to deliver you. Amen. Second Samuel 22 verse 18, mm. David said, He delivered me from my strong enemies. enemy. Meaning there are some enemies they that are, are stronger strong, than you. And but God, knows, God, but God. God will fight and deliver you. Yes. It yes. could be a spirit of death. Yes. Yes. A spirit of accident, mm. a spirit of cancer, mm. a, a witchcraft spirit, a demonic spirit that mm. is coming after your life. Mm. But when you make the Lord your deliverer, he will deliver you from your strongest enemy. Yes. Goliath was stronger than David mm. physically, yes. but the Lord brought deliverance. Yes. May the Lord Jesus deliver you from the strongest enemy, which is wizards, 
agent of darkness that after your soul, after your marriage, after your sons and daughters, after your destiny, may you receive deliverance Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. from premature death. Amen. 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 You see, when you read Job, Job said, even like if I go even under the sea, mm -hmm. where can I hide? See, from your presence. There is nowhere that God cannot get to. There is nowhere that his angels cannot get to. I want you to know that they, they might have even put you under the earth mm -hmm. and you think that no one can bring you what God is able to send his angels to bring you out. Amen. So you have to know that God is my deliverer. When he we are talking delivers. about under the earth, I'm thinking about even dead people who are dead. Ezekiel 37. Soldiers who were dead and rotting mm -hmm. into bones, deliverance brought them back to life. Yes. So where can your enemies do to you with the Lord? Can cannot revive you and bring, and bring, you, and bring you, you back to life yes. and restore you. you. Tonight, there's hope for you. Yes. Can this you morning, there's hope for you in Jesus' name. Can you please read the scripture? And I want you please to pay attention to this scripture very well. Because I know that some of you are going to strong battles mm -hmm. and you think that there's no, there's no hope. hope. I want you to have hope. I want you to have faith, confidence in God. Because if God was able to bring Peter out from cell, know that God is bringing you out tonight. And your, in the your name problem of is Jesus. not unique. I'm telling you, hmm. everywhere, hmm. except you are not called a Christian, mm -hmm. everybody is going through something. Yes. Believe you me, everybody is going through what? Something. something. Don't be fooled by people's dressing and wigs and makeup and beauty and smile. Everybody's going through something, yeah. my brothers and sisters. If only they can tell you the story behind their glory, you yeah. say, wow, maybe mine is better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Acts chapter 12, 5 to 11. 5 to 11. And we're reading all of it so Listen. that you understand how God brought Peter out and know for sure that God is bringing you out in Jesus' tonight. name. In the name of Jesus. Peter was therefore kept in prison by constant prayers. Constant prayer. Constant. This is where most of us, we fail. Constant prayer. Never let nobody tell you that prayer do not work. Remember that mm. they took James. The church did not pray and James died. They, cut off they took Peter. But with constant prayer, I'm telling you that if only you will not stop praying, but you will continue to pray and cry out to the Lord, the mm. Lord will bring you out. Remember, the answer is consistency in prayer, mm. in prayer, in prayer. When you read James 5 verse 13, it says, is anyone among you suffering? Is anyone among you hurting? Is anyone among you suffering then the bible said the answer to that suffering is let him pray mm. let no one tell you that prayer do not work prayer work prayer work prayer work Take prayer me. work he stay with constant prayer i'm telling you that when the church started to pray it wasn't the first prayer that brought peter out mm. it wasn't the second one that brought peter out it was consistency in prayer if only you will not give up but you will continue to pray Amen. and have faith in God, that the God that you are praying to, he listens, he knows you, he knows you. The Bible said that even like when you were in your mother's womb, mm. he, he knew you. Before you were even born. Even before you were born, he knows you. And his ears are open to the cry mm. of his children. Every single time you pray, God is listening. And sees you. And sees you. Do not let anybody tell you that prayer don't work. Prayer works. Prayer works. The Consistency. First person, the first person who was arrested, the apostles, was James. Hmm. And the Bible says that, and Herod made them cut off his head. Why? Because they the killed him because the church did not pray. They did not pray. The church were not praying. They, they, they arrested James and the church was relaxing. And the head of James was cut. Hmm. People have lost their marriages. They didn't pray. Mm -hmm. People have lost their sons and daughters because they were not praying. It's People not because God is not a deliverer. No, no, because they, they did not they cry to the deliverer. deliverer. They did not Even cry to Even in Egypt, him. in Egypt, the Bible says, until the children of Israel cried, cried out, out in groaning, then God the heard, heard their prayer.
prayer, mm. their cry, mm. and came. Deliverance don't just come. Mm. Deliverance comes when we start praying. Pray. Pray. If you pray, pray, your son will not go wayward. Yes. If you pray, your yes. daughter will yes. not go wayward. Yes. Yes. If you pray, God will arrest your husband and change yes. him. If you pray, your marriage will not end in divorce and separation. If you pray, you will that not die premature. End. It if will you end. pray that witchcraft attack will end, they will stop harassing you if you will that evil dream of eating, praying. Be, be, be sleeping with you. It will stop if it you will not stop. stop praying. Your, your your son who is sick will be healed if you will not consistent, constant, continuous, perpetual prayer. Prayer hmm. is prayer. what overcomes stubborn prayer. challenges. Prayer. prayer. Peter was in prison kept. Peter was therefore kept in prison, but constant prayers was offered to God for him by the church. Constant. Don't stop praying. Mm -hmm. And one thing that the witches understand mm -hmm. is it's consistency. Is consistency mm -hmm. in prayer. Consistency. So witches limit us from praying because they know your prayer limits them. Yes. Witches will limit, do everything to limit your prayer, your Bible studies, and your fasting because they know your praying, fasting, the word of God will limit them. So make sure that you don't allow anything to limit your prayer life, your Bible studies, and you fasting and living, and living for God. Holy. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the witches will get their access. Yeah. One thing, as simple as it is, prayer is what frustrates witchcraft. Prayer is what frustrates witchcraft activities. Simple. If you are a person of prayer, they will plan and plan. They will never be. That's what David, Daniel was a prayer. Yeah. He prayed three he prays, times. He prays and that's why his enemies time. couldn't get him. And when Herod was about to about to bring him out that night, Peter was sleeping bound. Listen here. With two chains between two soldiers. Peter was bound with two chains. Now bound to post. Bound with two chains to soldiers. Mm -hmm. Meaning that there's no way out. Because even like if like if even like move, if, the, if if the chain even falls the soldiers are in with him meaning you are not going anywhere, anywhere. And so, yet <laughs> god brought deliverance what makes you think that god cannot bring you up god cannot deliver you so you see how some of us they have placed in around us monitoring spirits yes hmm. some people are so close to you hmm. very close hmm. and yesterday the assignment is to monitor you to make sure you never marry to make sure you don't get a job to make sure you don't get that citizenship to make sure you don't break to to become pregnant and the devil has placed one my best friend and one my best friend and so oh, that's my two best friends meanwhile you are bound between these two agents who are heavily monitoring you that is not enough when you and the guards before the door were keeping the prison so you see peter was bound with two chains with soldiers mm -hmm. in front of them there was three different doors the last one was an iron door. That one, Reverend K will, 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 will read it. And then the first door had a guide. So meaning that with those two people that he was bound with, there was another soldier and then another soldier and another soldier. Yes, though, God was able to bring him out. Now behold, an angel of the Lord stood by him and a light shone in the prison. And he struck Peter on the side and raised him up saying arise quickly and he and his chains fell off his hands may every chain in the name of that jesus that is holding you in the name of jesus in every chain in the name of that jesus that has bound you in the name may of jesus. the lord break that chain now, tonight in the name of jesus, in jesus may name. every chain be broken in jesus may name. every chain be broken in jesus may name. every chain be broken in, jesus in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Every spiritual chains are breaking. Be breaking. And let them fall. Be broken. Chains fell off his hands. When a chain is holding your hands, mm -hmm. how can you get a job? If a chain is holding your hands, how can you, if you are going to get married, on their feet. you have to stretch. Mm -hmm. Chains breaking means that tomorrow we will deal with it. Tomorrow, don't miss the anointing service. And it says, then the angel said to him, get yourself and tie on your sandals so he did and he said to him put on your garment and follow me so he went out and followed him and did not know that what was done by the angel was but was real but thought he was seeing vision hmm. 
sometimes when God will do something for you, you yes. think you are dreaming. Yes. And God yes. is going to surprise you. Yes, God will surprise you if only you will believe hmm. that God is your deliverer. He will bring you out from that problem that you find yourself and it will surprise in. That you how you, you came think out. that there's no way out. God will escape. deliver you. God will deliver you. Well, I've, es I've yes. experienced a lot of escape. And I, yes. later when I look back and say, how did I escape this hmm. satanic trap? Yeah. God is a deliverer. Uh, for the Bible says that it will be like a dream. Dream. That's right. Be like a dream. When they passed the first and the second guard post, they came to the iron gate iron that gate. leads to the city. You see, for some of you, like what the devil does is that sometimes they may bound you, put as in, in the spiritual realm, we have what is called spiritual policemen. Mm -hmm. There's somebody, a police. A spiritual police person guiding you mm -hmm. but then i want you to know that when the lord send these angels the lord is able the angel is able to strike that strong man or strong woman, woman or which, whoever from your father's house from your mother's house that they've put in place to just to oversee that you don't go anywhere mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. angel of the lord is able to strike them and to set you free Amen. and tonight the lord is releasing his angels Amen. to deliver you wherever you are bound may the angel of the lord set you free In may Jesus the name. angel of the lord break every chain In break Jesus. every chain and loose you and set you free in the name of jesus in the name of jesus amen they amen. came to the iron gate that leads to the city which opened to them of its own accord so you see the iron gate because even if peter was able to even to hmm. overcome all these to break that chain from the two soldiers the guard from the one the second even that last one was an iron gate how was he supposed to get out but when the angel of the lord was sent he was able to deliver you i just wanted you to know that and this was our scripture that we were reading at, at. and every single time i'm preaching i try to take examples from the book that we are reading so if you read this definitely you are encouraged to know that god is able to do what deliver. to deliver God is able to bring me out from this spirit husband, from this spirit wife, from this witchcraft attack that I'm going through, from this trouble or the, the argument that is going on in my marriage. God is able to bring peace. God is able to deliver. This is one thing you have, God is able to we deliver. have to let them understand that in the spiritual realm, before anybody is killed or sacrificed or died prematurely, witches many times turn them into animals yes and tie them and place them in their cell yes spiritual cells spiritual you know cell. yeah. spiritual, spiritual cells cell. and tie them yes and when you pray for deliverance the angel, angel of the, of the lord, lord will enter into that cell and untie the person yes and release the person yes other than that once you are tied and it is your appointed time to die when the witch the witches meet in their coven and take their knives to slaughter the whether it's a sheep a goat a calf or a fowl you once the, the animal is killed on their altar of sacrifice the person begins to die but before that happens many times they they arrest the souls of humanity through your dreams mm -hmm. and then they will invoke your souls and then take your soul and project your soul into an animal so witches don't kill the when they are killing people they don't see the human face they are mm -hmm. killing either a, a goat a sheep a fowl so when they are killing these animals it's a representation of the person they wish dead mm -hmm. and immediately they kill that animal in their coven spiritually first of all they have to what bind up tie up and cage that animal so there are many people who are walking around but mm -hmm. go into the covens of the witches and you see them tied tied up waiting for the appointed time to be killed I pray that if there's anybody hearing the sound of my voice yes, who has been tied up Amen. by household Amen. witches and household wizards Lord, in your mother's house, in your father's yes, house, Lord. or witches and wizards who are after your life because your family have sold you to for sale for them to kill you and they want to place you on their evil altar to kill you in the name of Jesus Christ. May the God who is a deliverer, Amen. may the God who is Amen. a deliverer, may the Lord who is a deliverer Amen. minister deliverance to you. Amen. Let the angel of the Lord Amen. minister deliverance 
deliverance to you. Let the angel of the Lord minister to deliverance to you. Let the angel of the Lord break into their COVID, break into their cage, break into their prison, set you loose and free, open the prison door, break the chains and shackles, get you out, get you out, get you out, come out in Jesus' name. May every altar of sacrifice catch fire and be consumed into ashes. But the reason of the anointing, as you anoint yourself, as you anoint, take your anointing oil. In the, say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name as of I Jesus. As I anoint myself today. Let the angel of the Lord. Let the angel of minister Lord. deliverance. Minister deliverance. To me in the name of to Jesus. Me in the name let of the Jesus. angel of the Lord. Let the angel of the break Lord. Break into my enemy's camp. Break into my enemy's camp. Open their prison gates. Open their prison gates. Open their cells. Open their cells. Open their jails. Open their cells. And bring me out. And bring me out. Let the angel of the Lord. Let the angel of the Lord. Break every chains. Break every chains. Break every shackles. Break every shackles. Break every yoke. Break every yoke. Break every rope. Break every that, has tied me that has tied me and usher me out and usher me out from the camp of my enemies from the camp of my and enemies. set my soul free and set my soul free in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every altar, every altar of sacrifice, of sacrifice that they want to sacrifice that me. They want to sacrifice every me. altar, every altar demanding my flesh, demanding my and flesh, demanding my blood. And demanding my let, blood. That altar, let that altar catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. Catch fire. I, receive I receive deliverance, deliverance by, fire by fire in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. As you anoint yourself, yes, Lord. let the angel of the Lord minister deliverance Amen. to you and your family. Thank you, Jesus. you will not be wasted. Amen. You will not be sacrificed. Amen. Say, I shall not die. I shall not die. I shall not die. I, shall not I will die. live I will and, live. Declare and declare the wonderful works of the Lord. The wonderful works I refuse of God. to be sacrificed. I refuse to be sacrificed. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. James was sacrificed because he had nobody interceding for him. Some of us, we have sat down for our family members to die. And now they are coming for you. And that's why you are seeing that evil dream of seeing yourself with dead relatives, mm. seeing yourself dead, seeing yourself in, in the tomb and in the graveyard, in the cemetery. Mm. Why? Because they are inviting you into the realms of the dead. But tonight, I pronounce to you by this apostolic grace yes, of deliverance, Jesus. say, I shall not die. 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 Eat us of flesh. Eat up your own flesh. Drink us of blood. Drink up your own blood. Drink your own you blood. cannot drink my blood, you drink and you will not blood. eat my flesh. And you cannot eat my I will flesh. escape. I will escape. I escape. I escape. I alone. I escape. I alone escape. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let's continue. Amen. The next one is the Lord being our shepherd.